Good afternoon. This is your News 4 Now update. I'm Rana Novini. Police have arrested a man accused of shooting an NYPD officer in Queens on Wednesday. And he's expected to face a judge later today. News 4's Romney Smith is at police headquarters with the latest. Investigators say the shooter is a 22-year-old man, and we got a look at him this morning for the first time following his arrest. Take a look at your screen. This is Devin Spragans. Detectives say he shot 22-year-old rookie officer Brett Baller, who is still recovering in the hospital. We learned it all started with a fight over a seat on a city bus on Wednesday afternoon. That bus driver flagged down an officer and chased the suspect, who then shot Officer Baller in the hip. Police say Spragans was seen on on camera, dumping some clothing in a nearby parking garage to change his appearance. Detective used a combination of surveillance video, social media, vehicle ID, and investigative interviews to track him getting into a Lyft ride share for a ride to a home in the Bronx. Investigators executed a search warrant last night at 7 o'clock and arrested him. This is a look at the gun police recovered after they got the suspect into custody. They're now investigating if the 9mm matches the shell casings found at the scene of the officer shooting. Police also noted the suspect's fragments has no criminal history in New York. Again, we fully expect that officer who was shot to make a full recovery, but he is still in the hospital right now. Reporting in Lower Manhattan, Romney Smith, News 4 New York. A police department in South Jersey, South Jersey is under attack by hackers. A spokesperson for Camden County Police says the department experienced a ransomware attack three weeks ago. Officials say the cyber attack has not impacted 911 call systems or other public safety responses. The FBI and Homeland Security are involved in the investigation. Sources tell NBC News that the hackers are allegedly demanding hundreds of thousands of dollars in ransom. One official says about 80 to 85 percent of the locked files have been reopened. Happening today, the city will once again hear testimony on its proposed minimum pay rate for workers delivering food for third-party apps like DoorDash, Grubhub, and others. This comes after the city backed off its previous plan last month. Today's proposal would pay delivery workers $33.27 per hour for time spent on deliveries. That's more than double the city's $15 minimum wage. A second option is to pay them $19.96 per hour for all online time, not just when they're out on deliveries. The city is launching a pilot program aimed at reducing truck traffic and the negative effect tr truck deliveries have on the environment. The pilot will use local hubs known as micro hubs for designated curbside or off-street locations. That's where delivery trucks will unload items onto smaller, low-emission vehicles or cargo bikes and handcarts. The move is intended to make deliveries cleaner and safer while also reducing the amount of trucks on the road. The program kicks off this summer. A Connecticut family's Easter egg hunt is going viral on TikTok. This egg hunt is not for kids, it's for adults. The family in Southington gave out eggs filled with mini bottles of liquor and scratch off lotto tickets. The grand prize was an egg with a bottle of wine. This TikTok video has nearly 3 million views in the last couple of days, and you saw there one of the egg hunters, a 104-year-old grandmother named Evelyn. I'm down with that. Nice to see everybody. Let's take a check of the weather. It is going to be on the cool side as we head into the holiday weekend, but sky conditions should be nice. We'll see northwest winds at about 11 today, 59 degrees, a little bit cooler tomorrow. Easter Sunday, uh, 55 degrees. Out at City Field right now, well, the Mets are welcoming the Marlins at 1 p.m. Temperatures in the 50s for the most part, dry conditions and some clouds out there, but we are forecasting a Mets victory. As we take a look at the radar and satellite, uh, the gray sky are going to be part of our day and from the now until the rest of the day we're going to be dealing with it but also elevated fire danger is part of the day because we have a very low uh, relative humidity that we're dealing with so just keep that in mind Easter weekend looking really really nice both Saturday and Sunday so get out and enjoy it and that is a quick look at your weather picture Rana back to you okay Dave thank you so much that's going to do it for us for now I'm Rana Novini 